there. Have you heard about ChatGPT? It's this crazy cool AI language model that's taking the coding world by storm. But it's natural language processing or NLP capabilities, ChatGPT can generate all sorts of responses to coding prompts, making it a game changer for developers everywhere. In this video, we're gonna explore how ChatGPT can be used to make coding easier, cooler, and more fun. We'll start with trick number one. Let's say we wanna make a script in JavaScript that writes the Fibonacci sequence. We can use this to learn JavaScript. I'll just type this into ChatGPT. So write code for generating the Fibonacci sequence. And you and using JavaScript. Now we'll get now I'll enter this prompt and wait for it to respond. Oh, you can see not only code but it also explains each line for us this is helpful when learning a new language as we can learn what the each function does and how the code works it also says the output Time for trick number two. So, I have this Python code and I can just copy and paste it into ChatGPT. Now, we can say that I have this code, but I need it in Rust. And ChatGPT can actually convert the code for me. Now, I'm gonna type this into ChatGPT with the and I'm going to copy and paste the code and I'll tell it that I need to convert it to Rust. And now it is responding. Again, it explains how Rust is different from Python, and it explains what each line of code does. It explains how in Rust we use the hash map struct from the standard library to represent dictionaries instead of the diction how dictionaries are represented in Python. Time for trick number three. Let's say we have code and we don't understand it. ChatGPT will actually explain this for us. I can just type the said code and ChatGPT will explain it to me. I'll just copy and paste the code and enter. It'll go to each line of code. Now it shows what the code does and the output, and it explains what each line does. You 
can see that the output is right here. It's time for trick number four. Not oh, but there's an error. We can simply ask ChatGPT to debug it. Now you can see that I purposely added an error right here. Let's see if it can catch it. I'll just delete the comment right here. Dead the code. Tells us what error we would get and it shows the corrected code right here. This is helpful when you have errors and you need to debug it. Now, let's talk about trick number five. Let's say we want ChatGPT to write some code for us. We can enter font and we'll simply get code for it. I'll say I need a code program which checks when a button is clicked on site and then if the button is clicked it'll add the text button pressed to a text file You see, it gives us each line of code, says what it does, and even shows us how it's connected to other code snippets now that we have multiple code snippets. See that it'll say that the php that the php script is actually connected to javascript because you can use the javascript to send a request to the php script time to go to six today we have code but to make sure that works we need to do something called unit tests we can paste our code to ChatGPT and it can generate unit tests for us. This code measures a rectangle. So let's see all the scenarios. You can see it will give unit tests for each scenario and shows what each test covers. Now, this one minutes to write, but ChatGPT wrote it in a few seconds. This is really helpful when testing to make sure your code works.
see the code right here and how it tests each and tells it framework we need to use. Now it's time for trick number seven. Last but not least. Oh, we will ask ChatGPT for a lock a code for a login system. Now it'll just make this quickly. Oh. You can, but we're not done yet. We want to add an admin who can see the passwords. I'll ask it to add this to the code. I'll tell it for an admin that can view the usernames and passwords of everyone. I'll type the prompt in the ChatGPT and let's see what it does. code and tells us what it changed you can see that it adds if they're an admin or not and it's using user 3 as an example by adding admin to it it'll check if it's an admin and if it is it'll give you the username and passwords So you can see the code here, the explanation, and how it controls admins. But, you go to use this for chatting with you. But, there's one thing you should never do. Here's what it is. The number one thing that you should never do is to copy the code directly from ChatGPT to your project. ChatGPT can and will get things wrong on occasion. You should always verify the code and see if it fits your needs. ChatGPT is a great starting point for coding, but human intelligence is still vital to get things done correctly.